Hello, hello, this is Benson Onami on Elias Money Show. Welcome back for those that are coming back and those that are new, please subscribe to continue getting this content which I always put out there that is I consider very educative for your finances. Thank you and welcome back. For today, we are going to learn about what can a business or an individual do during financial crisis. Welcome. And the first uh, point is that if you are in the time of crisis, like we are uh, in this season where uh, the economy is not doing well, especially in Kenya, the businesses are not doing well because of the dollar that, 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 has, uh, that has gone high due to inflation. As a business person, you need to uh, have these things in mind so that you continue to stay afloat even in difficult situation. Um, if you're not careful as a business person or as a company, you might end up closing because you uh, ignored these things that I'm going to teach today. So this, this is the things that I'm going to teach us today that will enable you to continue thriving even in difficult situation uh, in your business. And number one, you should analyze your assets. Uh, analyzing your assets will be able to make you understand that with asset is helpful in this kind of a scenario when the economy is not doing very well. Analyzing uh, your assets will make you uh, make uh, the asset be more useful uh, that will bring will then bring you more revenue than just sitting uh, without doing an analysis of your assets. Most of the times we a company during good times, during thriving times, they buy many assets. As an individual, you end up buying many things that are not even useful uh, per se, that in turn can, can, be, can be bringing a lot of losses to you. Uh, like in a family setup, you can buy uh, electronic appliances that will not be helpful, uh, that will continue to make you go at a loss. As a company, during good times, you may end up buying assets that you don't require, but you, you have them. So when you analyze these pro assets very well, then you can be able to understand that which one I, do I need in this difficult situation. Without you analyzing the assets that you have, you may end up spending on power, spending on cost of, 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 of maintaining the, the assets that you have that don't bring anything during difficult situation. After you have analyzed this, the, the, the assets that you have, then it is important for you to make a decision. Those that are not helpful in this time of and season that you are in during the hardship, during the inflation, make a point of disposing them. Disposing the assets that you have uh, will help you then have uh, liquid money that will enable you to run your business very well. But you sticking to the asset that you don't use during difficult situation Makes, makes you have uh, unnecessary costs that you, you cannot account for, or even if you account for them, they will not be helpful for you. Then they'll make you dig deeper into the losses. But what we want during the hard uh, period is you making sure that you have liquid money that will enable you to make profit, even, even if it is not huge profit, but at least make you afloat as a company, as an individual, and even sometimes even uh, human capital human is an asset, human, human resource is an asset that you need to really scrutinize so much that you may be able to, to, uh, to, to remove those, those that are not uh, bringing the outcome that you require. Uh, you can even go ahead and make a decision of laying the people off that are not making uh, the company profitable. So it's a decision you need to make during hardship. Even laying off people is a decision that is advisable for a company to do, even, uh, even if it is a hard one, but then you need to make that decision for you to continue to be afloat as a company. Number two, automate and streamline your operations. Uh, what do I mean by this? If you automate, it will save you money, it will save you time, it will maximize your profit. If you automate your systems, you'll know where the leakages are. If you automate your systems, you'll be able to, uh, to monitor every process of your company, every process of your operations. So by you doing that, then it will mean that you are streamlining the 
the, the, the operations that make it more effective and efficient. And what you need during inflation is for you to be efficient, to deliver the core values of your business, to deliver the mandate of the business, which is to make profits. So when you streamline and automate your, your, your operations, then you are next to making your company afloat even in difficult situation. Number three, in, invest on online presence. I cannot overemphasize on this. Many people, many companies that uh, 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 want to remain relevant in, in times of uh, uh, troubles, uh, in terms of hard economic times, they will need to make their presence online uh, uh, so much. They need to invest in the things that will make them to be uh, present online. Because when you are, you, you, you are out there as a company and people can see you through such engines, people can see you through uh, social media, people can see you through many uh, available online um, uh, tools that we have, then it means at the end you'll have a huge customer base. And a huge customer base means that the sales will go high without you having a lot of investment in, 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 in employing marketers or doing all those sort of things. You only need to put yourself out there and make yourself available online. And people, when they search on engine through search engine optimization, they can reach you. And people look on the pages of famous people, maybe influencers, they can find you. And then you can create a huge uh, customer base, which, is, which does not need a lot of cost of you running them. And that is something that you need to do in these difficult times, economic times that as a company that we have, or as a brand, like you, you, you may be, you need to really make yourself out there so that people can be able to see you on, 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 uh, on search engines. They can be able to see you on, on social media. They can be able to see your products everywhere so that you get a lot of customers without you investing much on the operations that comes with employing such people that can be very expensive to you. The last one that we are going to talk about uh, uh, you being uh, uh, maneuvering through tough economic times as a company is you need to understand your customer's base behavior during crisis. Many people, uh, many companies do not uh, consider what the customers want during the crisis. And this can be a bad thing it can be a bad thing to a company not to learn the behaviors of your customers during crisis. Learning the behaviors of your customers will enable you provide the services that are needed through those times of difficulties. It will enable you to, to create a product purposely for those times of crisis. So it, as a company, you really need to be very flexible on your operations, on your products, on your services. Uh, sometimes it is hard for people to leave your product, but it can be very difficult if you don't uh, understand the, the, the behaviors. Uh, for example, if you are a person that is dealing with products that are packaged and, and you're packaging them in large quantities, you may need to rethink, you may need to re organize and, 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 and to, to know that during hard crisis, people may want to use your company's product, but they may want them in smaller quantity. For you to make such a decision, it will enable you to retain your customers. It will enable you to make your customers stick around with you during crisis. And then after they have stuck around with you, they will enable you to make profits from the quantities that you have reduced and continue to be afloat as a company during that crisis season. Uh, with that, I think for that uh, I'm done for today. Please, if you are new, uh, uh, consider subscribing to this channel so that you, cont you continue to learn. And if you are a returning uh, subscriber, please, please, please be watching these videos because I know they are helpful for us. Uh, do not pass that icon that has a like on it. Please share and let us grow together. And with that, I am. I'm, I'm done for today.